Next China model a la Easy Star. We know Easy Star 1, Easy Star 2, Graupno Rocky, Multiplex Shark, uh, Big Slayer 1, Big Slayer 2, Big Slayer 3, Floater Jet, and many, many similar models, all uh, with uh, same uh, Easy Star um, markers. Main marker is of course model, uh, motor with propeller behind the wing, so motor is protected if you hit the ground with the nose of the airplane. I think Bix3 is now um, best similar model which now Chinese manufacture. Because this model, how I say, third generation of Bixler and this model is with nice size so wingspan is 1550mm with flying weight about 900 grams so a little bit heavy for similar models about plus uh, 200 grams uh, in comparison with uh, Easy Star Yes, it is more heavy, but size of a wing is right for this, and I think it will fly uh, nicely. Motor is uh, uh, so you can buy this model in three or four configurations: just kit without the motor, speed regulator, and servos, or this standard uh, AR ARF almost ready to fly configuration. So. Uh, almost uh, complete uh, model with uh, motor, speed regulator and four servos and for flying you need only glue uh, elevator and rudder, connect servos on your, on your receiver, put in battery and you can fly. And next type is uh, Complete set with uh, simple transmitter, receiver, really simple uh, battery charger and power battery. This is, I think, standard, uh, standard set without a receiver and transmitter. Motor is 2630 uh, brushless outrunner, 1400 kV. And recommended battery is free cell lipo battery, uh, one one thousand eight hundred to two thousand two hundred milliamp hours. I buy this model with two two hundred uh, two thousand two hundred free cell lipo battery, standard cheap twelve uh, C battery. This is really enough for this type of model. What is interested on this model is maybe most interested is uh, landing gear with tires. Uah. So wing wing is with uh, perfect form quality. How you can see. No any negative comment for quality of EPP. I think this is just perfect. Really big, uh, really big uh, ailerons, really big ailerons with a nice, nice leading edge without the sharp edges. What is nice, ailerons is not only on a uh, Elapore, but hinges, plastic hinges are here too, and here is flap because Bix3 is four servos wing configuration, but servos are only on ailerons and servos on a flap flaps. You can you can uh, put in the wing and just uh, connect and. I think it's clear. Uh, 
wing is uh, reinforcement uh, wing reinforcement is with uh, carbon spare or carbon stripes really strong and thick carbon stripes with here carbon tube and inside this carbon tube will fit uh, aluminum metal tube as a central um, just wing connection and wing reinforcement one point all of this uh, reinforcement and tube and servo cable uh, is without a cover with tape so I think if you will cover it with a transparent just a 3 amp scotch crystal tape or something similar it will be better for uh, nicer aerodynamic, aerodynamic of the wing what is interesting profile of the wing is different here and on end of the wing so probably is some engineering work here uh, with uh, a bit uh, geometric distortion of wing and and uh, profile of wing is not with uh, with uh, flat bottom side but with this bended bottom side of profile so we know it will be probably slower wing yes right for slower flying what is nice leading edge of the wing is uh, just a broken curve similar like on a Graupner rookie and here are some plastic parts for wing connection with homes for opposite uh, opposite carbon stripes and here is a plastic part for for quick wing fixation on the fuselage without a screwdriver only with uh, just uh, some plastic part I will show you this part later so wing really nice wing again 1550 millimeters elevator again with broken leading edge I like it just elevator this elevator, how I say, how I saw, you must glue on fuselage. Here is rudder. Again, you must before first fly, you must glue it on uh, on elevator and fuselage. Yes. So fuselage. I think fuselage is nice with really enough space inside under wing and of course main space is under magnetic locket canopy fuselage is inside again with carbon stri stripes or spares uh, reinforcement but of course with a little bit thin uh, thin sides so if you will hit the ground really hard I think some destruction probable probably will be here but of course we buy airplane not for crashing but for flying inside is input for air here is output for uh, hot air inside is uh, 12 amps ESC 12 amps ESC with B, BEC, 3 amps BEC, what could be enough for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 servos in full configuration. Full configuration. Here is uh, opposite uh, plastic part for quick uh, wing fixation on the fuselage and of course I say 2630 brushless outrunner it looks really nice and on this motor will fit propeller uh, 8 per 4 
inches. Inside are two 9 grams servos with outside wires, outside wires like on Easy Star one. This wire is for elevator and this wire is for router and here is interesting uh, thing feature next wire is added here so this wire it will be for elevator and this wire is for tail tail gear steerable just steerable tail gear because here you can put easy this landing gear you must just hardly press this wire and put it inside the fuselage so now you have airplane with gear vent then uh, with steerable tail mm, tail gear just yes on this tires you can glue on gear this nice uh, cover of tires I don't know like the word in English yes again this make uh, this made with EPP2 so here you can remove this tires so I think this is about this is about fuselage inside are two mounting points for something I don't know for what maybe later uh, Hobby King will make something like boat for uh, flying from uh, water like on a multiplex shark because same system of uh, gear is on multiplex shark and that's all uh, one interesting thing in place of canopy you can put this plywood mounting system for camera but I recommend fix it not only with these magnets but with maybe with tape around or with some screws here because I think this is a little bit weak and you can lost uh, your camera during flying and on screen display system and last things just small plastic parts propellers 8 per 4 inches uh, aluminium tube in the wing and instructions on instructions is interesting one thing in this instruction you can read so this is not elevator but horizontal wing and uh, not ruder but vertical wing just a little bit chinglish version and I think that's all I hope I will show some flying with this airplane soon thank you for watching and have a nice day